Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We are jumping in again. We are actually building up a mighty streak, but we finally have the D6s as Isaac. Holy hell. Well, that means we have to play a run as Isaac. I realize we've had a lot of Isaac thumbnails recently though, so maybe I should do someone else first. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's just do Job for now. I, I want to do Isaac. He's a fun character, but I also realized that the thumbnail kind of intrigues people into play into like viewing the episode, and when I do challenges, it's always an like Isaac thumbnail, so I don't want to overload it with Isaac thumbnails. Honestly, having custom character, like, my custom thumbnail characters is both a blessing and a curse. It's great, because it gives my channel some real identity, um, and they just look fucking awesome, and it also lets people know what character I'm playing before they click on the video, but it's also bad because it lets people know what character I'm playing before they click on the video, which is sometimes a bad thing. Um, also, it can be bad because um, it means that things like Eden streaks aren't as plausible. Um, and it also can be bad as well because people can sometimes be less likely to, to like start watching a new YouTuber if they have like an established brand and identity before they start watching them sort of thing. So it, it's, it's got some upside, it's, it got, it's got some downsides, but overall I, I really enjoy having them. I think they're a lot of fun. Oh, Rotgut off the bat. He sucks indeed. Gimme, gimme that fat, fat, stinky boy. I love Rotgut. He's the best. I can't remember what the, the, the big dude does. I know that it's not good though, um, but I think, oh God, that was a really bad hit. I think Rotgut should be able to handle most of it. Yeah, he, he's doing a fine job. A fine job indeed. Oh, God. Now, that I do not remember, but extra bombs I quite like. Secret room, potentially to the left here. No, it's not. We do have the uh, the, the, the champion's uh, curse, where things are becoming champions more often. I don't mind this, though, because you do actually get stuff out of it. It's not... Oh, really? I did not see that fire lit at all. It's not like you don't get the champion rewards. Um, you, still, you do still get them. Okay. I say, remember how this enemy works when it dies, because I forgot that last time and it proved to be detrimental to my life. Right, good, good. What, um, yeah, we don't, it's not an XL floss, we've just established. Right, oh my goodness! That shot came out at the speed of light! Holy hell! Oh! <laughs> no! No! I can't believe I just died there. I don't know if you just witnessed what happened. <laughs> it was my own stupidity, to be fair. But what happened there is I stood behind Rotgut and he curved the shot into me. And because it was a champion, it one hit kill me. Oh, God. Dying on the first floor really proves my skill as an Isaac player, doesn't it? It really proves my skill. I mean, we shouldn't have died there anyways because I got hit way too many times prior to that. But still, that was pretty funny. Anyways, that seven streak has just gone down the drain. I was really hoping we could get a mighty fine streak going. Dude, just play the game better, you dullard. I'm so bad at this game. Anyways, as for the question of the day today. As for the question of the day today. Oh my goodness! The question of the day today is, why am I such a dumbass? That's the... No, it's not. Um, the question of the day is, what's something that people find generally quite easy that you still find really difficult for some reason? Because at the minute, I'm finding the most basic of things, i.e. dodging, to be really difficult. Which, for some people that are new at the game, yes, that is not that easy. But for someone with, like, 2,000 hours on this game, I really shouldn't be getting hit this much on the first floor. I gotta tell you, it should not be this big of a problem for me, but for some unknown reason, I cannot handle anything. Either way, we got 2020 here, which I'm absolutely ecstatic about, because um, this character, Job, just gets extra fire rate and more, more tiers, means more damage modifiers and bullet effect, uh, tier effects and stuff, so let's hope we can get something that really works alongside this. Um, and let's go and unlock Tainted Job, shall we? Tainted Job is a very fun character um, that I really enjoy, so let's get him unlocked. How about that? That's also really nice. Uh, go down this way. But yeah, something something basic that, that you find really, really difficult. See, I've got kind of a cop-out for this question, because for me, it's reading. <laughs> Which is mainly because I'm a bit dyslexic. But... I've not been, like, officially diagnosed with dyslexia, but that's mainly because I've never been for, like, a proper check. But, like, I know I am. 
<laughs> like, it's... If you, if you go and watch, like, my old Hollow Knight series, or you watch the new Darkest Dungeon series I'm doing now, there's a good amount of reading in those series, and oh boy, can I just not read at all. It's, uh... It's outstanding, really. It, it really is, um... Quite a mystery. How I never learn how to read. But... It's okay, though, because... I have an excuse. <laughs> I will never learn properly, but I do have an excuse. No, for me, my, my dyslexia is kind of weird. It's it's very, it, it, it can be quite heavily grammar based. Um, I often will sort of ignore the rules of grammar without noticing, uh, both in reading and in writing. It's really, it's really annoying that it's in both, um, both the senses. Cause like, yeah, sometimes I'll like, I'll write like can instead of can and stuff like that and oh that, that that's the one that annoys me most because I do that a lot I'll either read something as can instead of can or vice versa or write it vice versa uh, either way like the wrong way And the problem with that is when you do that It drastically Drastically changes the meaning of what you what has been said like to a ridiculous degree um, and it can, it can really cause some problems, because people are like, like, um, someone will be like, oh, can you meet me here? And I'll be like, no, I can't. Or, or well, no, I'll say, like, I can't, rather than I can. Um, and, yeah, it, it's, it's caused issues for me in the past. Um, Guppy's Pride, not great, but honestly, a Guppy item this early on does tempt me into the Devil Deal. So, that might be something I consider. Good. Did not see you there. Dude. <laughs> There's more? How is the more? <laughs> Holy hell. That was really annoying. Anyways. A guppy sprite is also good to get on the first, uh, the second floor because it means we're going to get a lot of guppy heads going. Which is rather nice. So we can find something to work alongside that like uh, um, BFF that I beat. Rather nice, rather nice. In terms of Isaac, um, I'm curious to just hear in general what people want to see. Um, I've been kind of talking about this recently. Ooh, nice. Okay, that is very good. I really like Sackhead. Um, taking damage will spawn a Mega Explosion for the current room. Works only once per floor. That's pretty good. Also got a Soul of Eden here, which I don't believe we have unlocked. Um... Also, Sackhead with uh, Job is strange. It's taken away the outline around our head, which is curious. Um, yeah, weird. Weird, but apparently the Soul Stone thing is, is, is a bug with Repentance Plus, I've heard. I mean, one of you in the comments told me that Repentance Plus can cause issues where um, it unlocks Soul Stones that aren't meant to be unlocked, which is a thing apparently, so... Good to know about that, I guess. Oh, idiot. For some reason I thought that'd be second secret room. That's not how that works. You goober. You goofball. We'll see if we want to use Soul of Eden on the boss fight here. Of course, it can reroll it into any item pool, so we shall see. Nope, we'll be taking that in a heartbeat. Um, and I will also be taking Little Abaddon here as well. Just because I want to lock myself into the devil deal. Health is a little iffy, but oh well. It is a little iffy. I had a pretty interesting um, conversation the other day. Ooh, unfortunately. Do you know what? Just use the kill button. Get the hell out of here. I had a rather interesting conversation um, yesterday on the phone. I got a, I got a, a, a call from some from a number I didn't recognize. And I don't normally answer them because it's normally scams. But it didn't look like a regular scam number. So I'm like, I better answer it just in case it's something work related. And it's for some reason someone's number I don't have saved or whatnot. Um, and... Um, it was actually my university ringing me um, to like, it, it was sort of like a, to ask what I'm doing now, but also to try and get some more money off me. But it's like, I gave you nine grand a year. Fuck off asking me for more money. But anyways, ir like irregardless of that, it was actually a really interesting conversation because the, the person, the data scientist he said he was, uh, that was the person on the phone talking to me, obviously was asking about like what I did at uni and then, and then like what I'm doing after because they kind of need information on that for like statistics on like where their postgrads are and stuff like that. Um, and the dude was so interesting. Um, he'd, he'd also done computer science with games development like me. Um, and we kind of ended up chatting about it and I was chatting about like what I'm doing for my job now. And it was just like, it's so rare that you pick up the phone 
and you speak to someone you've never spoken before in, to before in your life and likely never will again and have a genuinely good conversation and I did it happened and it was it was really nice I really enjoyed it um it, it was like an oh that was really bad um, it was like an hour-long conversation, um, it, and yeah, I, I don't know why, I just really, really enjoyed myself just having a chat, talking about my university experience, talking about, oh god, oh god, oh god, talking about kind of life after uni. Yeah, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Um, that's only when there's a curse. <sighs> this is tricky, because I could very easily die here again. That's a very, very, very good trinket, but... This 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 molten core thing is also a very good trinket. Don't like that spider standing there. Okay. Oh wait. Oh, almost made some heavy mistakes here. We've apparently got a heart over here we can get to, which I should prioritize really. There you go. I know it's a bit of a waste to take a full two heart to heal up half a heart, but it at least saves us from dying to a non-champion. A little Abaddon, by the way, kind of dookie. He's not that great. Randomizes shop prices. Some shops will have constantly shifting prices. That seems kind of interesting. I'm liking the Molten Core and the stat up. It does sound good, but I'm at least going to take this for this floor and try it out. So it could be kind of good. Depending on where the shop ends up being. But we have enough money already to get something. Okay. Good, good. Took out the annoying ones that actually aim at us. Time to take out the annoying ones that don't aim at us. Probably should have gone into my thingy room there. Um, what the hell is this sacrifice room to check for any hearts? Darn tootin'. Nothing useful for me there. This is a bad room. Luckily, I killed the one closest to him before he managed to shoot. Hey, that's nice. What the hell? I don't know which one hit me then. <laughs> now I'm mega afraid. Go to the shop first. Unfortunately, this is awful. These glasses are dog shit. <laughs> I'll be dropping these now. Randomize. So when it when it said randomizes shop prices, I kind of thought it meant like they would generally tend to be better for us, not just that there's a good chance that they're gonna be um, costing an insane amount like that. That was yeah. That's that's a, that's a little evil of you game. I don't want none of that shit. <laughs> That's a little bit of a shame. Um, so, not that I would have wanted anything in the shop there anyways, but I could have maybe used my uh, Soul of Eden to re-roll it. And get along with it that way. Right. Boss time. Really? You're not going to give me HP here? Nice bomb. It has unfortunately pooted his eye out, but he's almost dead anyways. Shouldn't be a worry at this point. Especially if he doesn't jump anymore. Good, good. And this is definitely our Soul of Eden, and holy hell is Infestation 2 a good grab. Okay. Um... Trinket-wise, I don't know which one to grab. The stat-up is probably better, but the Molten Core does have some use cases. If we can hold off on getting hit. So I'm going to take this one for now, I think. Molten Core is kind of interesting, but I'm hoping to make a boss rush naturally anyways. And with this health, we can't even do boss rush, so... We will see, I guess. Alright, down we go. Just taking the regular path for now. I'm not, I'm not quite sure why I've been doing regular path more often. Oh, this is potentially good. Very good. It is Techno Pin. I did not realize there was another little bugger in this room. Multiple other little buggers in this room. Okay, nice. You're going to show a lot of spiders at me, right? 
Big spiders, though. Some, sometimes it's big spiders, sometimes it's small spiders. But your spiders produce our spiders, so not all that bad. But yeah, our fire rate is now wicked. We don't even have our book active right now, and we have 6.12. I'm really hoping we get some tier modifiers here that can help us out. Good, good. Excuse me, sir. There you go. Hey, finally. We are in the safety bit again. The safety bit. You know what I mean. We're safe. Shush. I can't do words very well. You... People that have been watching me for a long time should know that by now. They should and probably do. Uh, that, this is another sort of question of the day. For people out there that, that like attentively watch the actual Isaac and don't just listen to my voice, I know there's a good few of you out there, how often do you get annoyed by the things that I do in Isaac? Especially those of you that are like really regular viewers and you've seen all of my regular foibles. It'd be interesting to know, like, how many of them are, like, really annoying to see. Book items will refund up to two charges on use. Uh, oh, holy shit. Wait, 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 wait. Does this make our book a one room charge? I've used it an inopportune time there. It depends if the trinket, if the trinket just uses anything with the, the book tag, it'll work. Um, if it unfortunately um, checks for book names, it will not work. So I need to actually use it in a room with combat and see if it works. Ow, that was a good hit. Oh god, tech, the tech ones are kind of kind of difficult. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, unfortunately it does not work with this book, which is really upsetting, because this would be an amazing trinket for this character otherwise. Chasm destroys all the items in the room and gives the user a 10% chance to deal 2.6% uh, damage on anything they fire. Okay. Yes, I'm going to take this. We don't really need the book. And this item, now that it has a, a description that makes more sense, is actually really, really good. Because we're firing so many tiers, a 10% chance to fire one of these blue tiers. A, a huge increase of damage is pretty awesome. It's really sad that didn't work. Otherwise, I would have kept the book. Yeah, it must check for specific book names rather than just the book tag. Gotta be careful because this room could kill me. But yeah, essentially with this item, the more items we destroy, the more chance we have of firing blue tears, which deal a lot more damage. That's the way, uh huh, uh huh, I like it. Gotta wait our turn to, to get by here. Thank you. Judgment. Potentially good to use. Yeah, I'm going to take this. Because with Sackhead, it's really good. And the rest of my money, I'm going to dump into you and hope I get... Um, hope I get myself a health upgrade. There you go. Oh, what the hell? It put me on half a heart. Okay. I've got a... I know that Boss Rush is slipping through our fingers right now because I'm being really slow. But I really need to make sure I go and grab the health in here, otherwise I am going to die. Good, 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 good. Let's be on our wayward son. Good stuff. We've got quite the army going on. I like our little spider army with infestation. That's very lovely. But yeah, I'm sure there's a bunch of foibles in Isaac that I do regularly that really annoy you guys. And it'd be interesting to know what they are. Not so that I can avoid them, just so that I know what they are. Hmm. 
That is an item that I want to suck up. I'm hoping I have enough rooms to get this bad boy charged. But looks like I'm... Yeah, it looks like I'm not going to get that opportunity. Damn it. I was hoping you'd dive into me there and get the bomb, but... Didn't really work out. I could go back to that room all the way over there, but that's just so far. Spawn one random capsule. Yeah, we'll do that. Pretty good. Oh, it's Krampus. Okay, we did get a charge. That was a really bad use of a bomb there. I don't know if you saw, but I immediately just hit it away from myself. We didn't get Lump of Coal. I mean, technically, we could just use it on this. It's technically more valuable to use it on this and then take the other item. I'm not going to go back for Linger Bean, though, I'll be honest. We might have a battery in our shop. I don't remember, but it's too far away. It's too damn far. Good, good. Yeah, already got two items destroyed, so already a 20% chance. With the amount of tears we're firing, that is an insane amount of chances already. Do not like this room. This room's going to take us forever. Fuck's sake. Really hoping I can keep my deal there. Not a huge deal chance. Dude, this room's a fucking load of bollocks. <laughs> Wizards are the worst. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Die, you big earth. Okay, we got our charge back. Hopefully, we either find an item room that's good or find an item room that's bad pretty shortly. It's good, this. It just makes every bad item still useful. Good, good. All the sacks we're going to be getting from Mum's Key is pretty nice. I feel like Boss Rush is pretty out of reach for us at this point. We'd have to get really lucky with the next floor. And I guarantee we get no mapping on the next floor now for some reason. Oh, this room isn't annoying at all. That was a pain. Imagine if you had low range on that room. It'd take forever. I realise that the, thing, the guy can pop up at the other side, but he's not going to, is he? Good. Keep going. Okay, this is a mini boss. This isn't the way we want to be going at all. Stop spawning stuff. Another useless item to suck up. Okay, this is this this has gone good with Chasm so far. Chasm's at 30% already. Unfortunately, we went all the wrong ways here, which ended up being okay because we got our charge and used Chasm, but still, not particularly happy about it. Although this rate, honestly, I don't even know if I can do boss rush because of my HP. My HP's so low. Okay, get back over here. Get on the floor. And there's that item room. Good, good, good. We do not have a charge currently, so that might not work. For Chasm, at least. But her stat's actually really good. We'll take her stat. Definitely. Do not like the idea of this room. One bit. That still managed to hit me. 
That room scared the bejeebus out of me. I'm going to check in here for a half red heart. Or a full one. Don't know why I thought it'd sell a half, but you know. My goddamn brain too small. Okay. Got another chasm charge. God, these dudes are everywhere right now. What the hell? Hello, blur. What the fuck kind of pot? I've never seen the blur spread such a voracious amount of blood. That was ridiculous. I know that he can do that, but like, whenever does he? Need HP here, please. That's good, we got HP. And we will go. Right, boss rush is potential. Like, it's 18 minutes from right now, I think. Yeah, 18 minutes pretty much exactly. We kind of need to be going the right way and clearing rooms as quickly as we can. Which right now we're not really doing. We've got so much knockback that it's kind of a pain to clear rooms fast. Yeah. Quite an odd room there. Oh god. Oh god, I see, I see. That could have been a very annoying room. We'll check this out just in case. I realize I don't really have the time, but I'm here now. What's down here? Perming bombs? Suck. Can't be asked. Suck them up and go. Annoying ass room that I have to clear to get to my item room. Great. Yeah, it, it looks pretty much impossible that we get boss rush here. If I had the melted core, it could have worked. But even then, if I got hit before the room, it wouldn't be able to work out for us anyways. So I'm not going to pretend like that was the exact solution we needed. It was, was a, It's just a possible one. That's not very good. I guess we'll be coming back for that at this point. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We might. We might just make it. Ow. Do not like that. We've got about a minute to kill the boss. This is, um... It's just Blue Mum. All right. The doors kind of threw me off. Come on now. We need an actual damage up rather than just the chasm. The chasm's doing a decent job of being our damage up, but it's it's not the best. It's not dealing as much damage as we should be, really. Good. Get the negative here for some damage. Lovely. We check this out. Okay, we've got... Tears have high knockback, but you also get knockbacks on fire. And okay, no, we already know what we're taking here. This, with this amount of tears going out, a lot of fun. Now, this is probably going to be a, a relatively long boss rush. Because I don't think we really have that much damage. What, the, what on earth? Ah! Ah, how do I dodge that? <laughs> a champion I do not recognize. It scares me. Now that guy took way too long to kill. Hello, good sir. But yeah, I'm hoping the tier effects, the various different tier effects that we end up having, will help us for the most part with this guy, or like any of the bosses, for that matter. Bomb leech. You can't just sit in the corner, dude. That's not fair. Yeah, he chooses to do exactly that. So, okay, it's actually going reasonably well. Good, good, good. Got some hearts available as well. See, that's the sort of speedy kill that we need on bosses right now. 
Weird to see a, a boss rush room with this many, um, this many keepers. We got a Kyle Pilkinson keeper up there as well. Okay, good, good. Ooh, dropping sacks. It's actually really nice for extra bombs. Of course, they're not all going to drop sacks. It's just a chance. We did get a few here and there. Yeah, like I said, I quite like I'd like a card, like an Empress card. Didn't didn't quite have my dreams come true. Ooh, her stat just deflected two shots in a row. Wow. Okay, we got Horn up here doing its thing. Things are starting to chunk a little bit, they're slowing down. Getting a little slow. Y'all thinking you're all that, but you're dead. Good, good. Okay. I think I just pushed that boss into the fire there. I think that's what happened. Oh, that was a bad hit. Oh, it's Kingpin. Gross, gross. Keep it away from me. Disgusting. Disgusting boss. Stand back. Be designed better, please. Maybe one day the Fiendfolio devs will take another look at Kingpin and realize they must have been high when they made this. Because he is the most jank. I will never not be rude to Kingpin. Okay, I don't like the blue fires because they're blocking my shots. Do I have to kill the bloody orbs? I do. God damn it. You waste my time, good sir. We got the bat boy. Yeah, honestly, the amount of chasm shots we're firing is just amazing. Bat's almost dead. Bat's dead. Hey. I think we're about two or three ways off the end. Maybe three. I'm feeling it to be three. We got Speedy Gish. Again, Hurst blocking another shot. Hurst hat. Got all of that. Bomb was a whiff. Oh, well, what the hell? Who are you? Where did you come from? There's multiple of you. Oh, god damn it. It's Daddy Longlegs. Doing his shenanigans. Ow. Okay, ah, fucking didn't even see that one. I'm stupid. I was so focused on shooting at this guy. Oh, God damn, I hate this boss so much. At least he's dying pretty fast. See, he's dead and his feet are still coming down. What's that about? Whose feet are they? they certainly aren't yours, good sir. But yeah, how, how quickly we kill enemies is kind of dependent on how many chasm shots we land. If we get a lot in a row and land them all, we actually kill really fast. But if we're just not getting lucky and not getting a lot of chasm shots, it doesn't go by quite as quick. All right, two more waves. I am only guessing here. There might be many, many, many more than two, but I'm fairly sure we're looking at two more waves. Damn it. Just pushed that bomb a mile away. And the last wave... Although we haven't seen Fire Dude yet, so it might be one more wave after this. I do hate Fire Dude. Hey, Hurst Hat saved us again. Wow, he's doing a very good job at saving us repeatedly. Ah, another wave. Maybe it's even two more waves. I got it completely wrong, I think.
Right, not really worried about big boy. Just focusing on these guys. There you go. And now I'll come and give you some attention. Yeah, big one-eyed freak. Kind of reminds me of Conjunctivitis or whatever the boss's name is from uh, Dead Cells. The one that's just a big old eye. Okay, I was way off on the waves. God damn, the fear shots are coming in fast and loose. We're getting them all the time, and they're actually doing a pretty good job. Like, everything is just permanently feared. Fear me. Revere the end. Hey, there you go. And we got an item that's very good for just going scoop. Where's our door out of here? There it is. Always on the top right, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I would get confused. Right. We are onto the womb. I'm a little bit worried about the womb, I'll be honest. Bad apple. Okay. Tears up. 8% chance for all tears on screen to turn bad and deal half damage. Has special positive synergies with other apple items. I honestly don't think that's worth us grabbing. Just because it deletes all tiers on screen. Uh, sorry, it, it makes all tiers on screen bad. And I just feel like a lot of the time we're going to have so many tiers on screen that that's going to be a significant downgrade. And especially it only been an 8% chance. It sounds low, but when we're firing this many tiers, that's going to happen pretty often. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm considering as well, but especially we can go after this room, go back and just suck it up chasm it and get some more damage out of it. Or more chance of damage, should I say. We don't actually get any additional damage. Right, back we go. Bad apple, you about to be sucked the hell up. What do you think about that? Boom. Tis mine now. I think we're on about... We're either on like 50 or 60% now. I think we're on 50%. Pretty damn good. Good. Keep pushing forward. I see you there, Dom Mick. I will attend to you soon. Um, we're not getting all the curses right now. Our range is already pretty good, but honestly, plus three range. I'm gonna take it. The curse thing is, like, good, but it's just not triggering. We've had it, like... I don't even know if we've had it once yet, actually. And you watch now. Every single floor from here on out will have, um... Curses. Also, I realize I just took really bad damage by walking into the spikes. I am impatient. That is correct. You have assessed me correctly. I am very impatient. That spider just turned into a... Into, uh, that fly just turned into a spider, should I say. That's a soul heart and a regular heart. Very good chest there. I would not re-roll my run if you gave me the opportunity. It's a restart the current floor thing. Honestly, on the womb, I find that, like, not very good. Especially if we're going to try and do hush. Good, good. Oh, this is an annoying room, I just realized. I could bomb it to make it a bit quicker, but a bit of a waste. Oh, you guys are pooting out all sorts of stuff. Don't like that. Do I actually have to kill those little red goobers? Or are they just detritus? I actually have to kill them. Kind of annoying, but we got through it. Ugh, room I don't want to do. With golden bombs, I will be bombing my way out of some rooms here and there. Don't shoot the thing in the middle. We already learned that lesson. The game just taught us about that. 
Oh, there's a laser there. I did not see that. Very stupid of me. I was not paying attention. Oh, God. Bad hit. And we get the random capsules. That's actually pretty good. We'll take that. Yes. Two health ups. That's really good. Our health is looking way better now. Way, 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 way better. Right, now we've got three minutes to finish this floor. Holy shit, we iced everything. Apart from Pin, we just froze everything. Apart from you, what? Excuse me. You were meant to be frozen in the big freeze out of 2023. How dare you escape me? Okay. This is an annoying room because there's all these little hatchling things. I don't really know what you want to call them. Yeah, I'm going to get hit. I don't really care. Ow. Okay, I got hit way too many times in that room. Do not like you. Right, hopefully we can get some health here. Hopefully I can get whipped by something that I stood right next to. Oh god, okay. Things are feeling bad again. Through no fault of my own. No, definitely through entirely fault of my own. Poop out some lads. No heart for us, though. Big upset. I'm worried about the mum fight now. I, I honestly am. All, also, wasn't I going to go and do the beast fight? I was, wasn't I? That, that really went well, didn't it? I completely forgot about that. What is with all the big babies right now? A lot of those about. That's pretty good. That could save us some hardships. More bombs there. I don't really care. Oh my god. We just have just this absolute army of spiders. Just a shame my spiders do such little damage. Because our actual damage stat is pretty low. Like it's not super low. But it's, it's like... Second, third floor sort of low. Nice. Got some health back. And we have a minute to get to our boss. I'm thinking our boss is going to be through the next few rooms here somewhere. Good. Good. Okay, this should be a fairly quick fight, especially if I add a bomb in there. If it hits, that is, it didn't. Right, good, good. Push fight, here we come. We'll check out the devil deal real quick. Uh, I will take that. Good, good, good. Right, let's do a hush fight. See what we might get. Hopefully we don't breakfast ourselves again somehow. Toy drum, very good. These chests don't work, keep forgetting about that. Whirling leech, I'm gonna suck. While firing, um, spawn a spider egg which summons blue spider upon landing. Sounds pretty good. Um, three percent chance to transform enemies into poop. Poop tears uh, fight a slightly. Yeah, let's go with that as well. Tear detonator. I get to keep my blue tears if I get rid of my active, right? I do. Nice. Okay. I think it's about time we drop that then. But before we do, oh, uh, I, 
I did that the wrong way around. I should have bought coupon first to suck it and then grab tier detonator. Don't think I can do that now. Ah, well, let's just take tier detonator and be on our way. Tier detonator is going to be pretty fun. Yeah, apparently now we can fire some egg tiers and some poop tiers. Got a few different tiers in the mix. We've also got a lot of goddamn heads. Like an unholy amount of uh, heads floating around us. Right, good, good. I really like the fact that they decided to refresh the first phase of the hush. Because the first phase of the hush never really made all that much sense. I'll be honest. It was like kind of pointless. And now it's actually got some unique stuff to it. I see. I just saw one of the spider eggs there. So honestly, with infestation, it's not going to make that much of a difference. But hey her, it's something. I'm trying to get all my heads into a position where they can fire it and actually hit. That's one of those little egg sacks. Seems decent enough. Does they don't seem to pop out all that often? I'll be honest, but. I don't know why I did that. It was a complete waste of time. Yeah. Got all my heads into a decent position. Every one of them's hitting. There it goes. <laughs> Look at that. That's such a cool little animation. I really like that. Stand back a little bit and then tear it in it. Tear down is not good. Also, I apologize if you heard me burp there. I'm drinking a can of Coke right now. A little bit gaseous. The kill is going medium okay. It's, it's like not very fast, but it's fast enough. Ow. I did just walk into him there. I was trying to get Little Abaddon into position to actually do some damage. Kind of backfired. Okay. But where'd that bomb go? Don't know how it ended up down there. Honestly, just ignore the flies. They're not a big concern. Right, good, good. Oh, get out from under the ground. Someone please make a mob that stops him going underground. It would be... Just the best thing in the world. It's so annoying that he goes underground so often. Just a waste of time. Hopefully the host can save us from a few shots here and there if we get hit. Our little um, bobby heads now are sending like a half heart look as it goes. In regular rooms tier detonator is going to be pretty decent. On this, it's not so good. So the egg sack. I've not seen many of those egg sacks, I'll be honest. For a, t for a quality 3 item, it seems to be doing it pretty a pretty low amount of times. But we'll see how it functions in regular rooms rather than a boss fight. It might be a little better in regular rooms. But it's, it's seeming like a... Slightly, Job Frag's nice. It's seeming like a slightly weaker version of, um, of uh, the Rotten Beggar. No, not Rotten Beggar, Rotten Baby at the moment. Yeah, apply t uh, just apply tier effects everywhere. Nice. Yeah, that's going to be pretty darn useful. I like that. Turn things into poop. Turn everything into poop. Turn the whole world into poop. If you'd have spawned Hurst while I was in the room then, I'd been so annoyed. Oh, this is perfect. This is easy. I love this. This one didn't hit anything because it was in a bad position. Oh, you teleported. Pretty cool. 
don't think I've witnessed you do that before. I think we're going the right way here. So that these guys are going to teleport. That they are. Rick, make a really cool sound when they teleport as well. Okay, good. Taken care of. There's a bomb just to get this fight started. A little bit early, unfortunately. And you have been taken out swiftly. Shouldn't be a hard fight at all here, I wouldn't think. Especially when Satan's just... Even with his buffed moveset, he's still quite a pushover. The feet are definitely the hardest part about him now. Because they've got the rock formations coming down. But there you go, he's still really weak. Good, good. Dad's mallet as well. Unlocked. Lovely. Hey, another challenge unlocked. Yeah, like I said, I still need to do some more modded challenges. I will get on those soon. That's a guppy tail. Come on, one more guppy, one more guppy. Damn it. Oh, I should take Guppy's Tail, actually. Guppy's Tail is actually really good on this floor. Ugh. Three Brimstone Ghosts? Why? I should definitely take Guppy's Tail. A lot of extra chances for chests. Not guaranteed, but a lot of extra chance. Take you out. I don't know how much damage our little heads do. It's probably 3.5 damage per shot, right? Well, this room's annoying. This room looks problematic. Mainly because we have to kill everything before we kill that guy. I don't like the idea of... Ow. Okay. Knew there was one of you left somewhere. Can we actually fight you now? We can. Huzzah. Got there in the end. We did get a chest as well out of this, which I'm... Okay. Having a trouble time locating. Prop Tursis is incredible. <laughs> that spells out F-U. I like that. Pretty cool. I like it. You're funny buggers, aren't you? Snake spawns a trail of tears that will charge into nearby enemies, will respawn on a new room or after, or after a brief period after it dies. Oh, hello. Interesting. I think because it's got, I, th I think because I've got prop terses, it's dog shit. <laughs> Um, so what I think it's meant to do is a, a, it's meant to be like a snake of tears that moves around the room and tries to hit enemies. But with prop tersis, <laughs> it just dies immediately. Cool idea. Maybe want to uh, add a synergy for prop tersis. Nightshade, pretty good. By the way, people keep asking me what something the something wicked mod is. It is a mod that my friend made on my Discord. It is not publicly available. It's still being developed on. I realize it's been. It's been in the works for a really long time at this point, but if you would like to try it, you can join my Discord. It is pinned in the uh, Binding of Isaac channel. So if people would like to give it a go, you are free to. The developer has given me permission to let people know about it. So if you want to try the mod, you can. Also, a tier detonator is now way worse. But actually, that was pretty good. Canyon cube. Where's our boss at? Proptosis doing a mighty fine job here. Oh, that's cool.
I find that snake thing so funny. I'm going to tell the developer and I bet they're going to be like, um, oops. <laughs> Nice, got so many items. Guppy Sale was such a good purchase here. Such a good purchase. Last key though. Luckily last room. Shouldn't matter. Hey, got one last chest and it wasn't even a golden chest. Sadly an item that, make, that means nothing to us though. Right, stand right next to him. Let Proptosis do all of his work. There you go. Okay, there you go. I hope everyone did enjoy this joyous of runs. It was very, very good. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.